And the Golden Globe goes to... Sal! Oh, believe in me. Oh, oh my God. I can't believe this is great. This is the greatest thing ever to ever happen to anybody ever. Uh, thank you, Tracy Morgan. I love your work. You're one of my favorite comedians. You got pizza. You got pies for the rest of your life. Calzones for the rest of the year. Those are way more expensive than pies. Don't ask me the economics. Uh, thank you, HFPA. I appreciate the recognition. I work hard on my pies. I'd like to thank my mother and my father for beating the hell out of me, uh, for allowing me to make the best pizza pies in the state of New York. Uh, I also got one of the pies right here. This is one of my pies. Sal's, come down, mention the Golden Globes. We'll give it a special, which is where we take one log of pepperoncini and then we just place it in the middle. It's shaped like a globe, uh, but not the, not the Golden Globe statue. The Golden Globe, the, like a globe itself. Anyway, come to Sal's. Pizza's great. And uh, screw you, soul. You don't deserve to win. It's news time. Delivering to you the news you didn't know about, the news you didn't care about, and the news you didn't know you cared about. With host Chad White. Now, here's that host, Chad White. Welcome back to News Time. I'm your host, Chad White, and this is the HFPA News You Didn't KNOW About. The Golden Globes were, uh, what's that? What's the HFPA? Oh yeah, I kind of just dropped a nickname on you without a follow-up definition. Come on, Chad, get it together. Dozens of people are rooting for you. The Hollywood Foreign Press Association, or HFPA for short, is the governing body for the Golden Globes. Think of it as uh, what the Academy of Motion Pictures, Arts, and Sciences are for the Oscars, except, you know, way less prestigious. But obviously more important than the Country Music Awards, they wouldn't know good country if it got drunk and screamed racial slurs in their faces. The HFPA was, until this past week, a high-class organization with little to no name recognition outside of those in the entertainment industry. I'd even think you'd be hard-pressed to find a cable news reporter who knew about it. Chris Cuomo didn't even know his governor brother Andrew was touching dames and whatnot. That's just what you do when you're an old New Yorker like yours truly. Dirty Rock, 42nd Street, Uptown Girl. The best way to describe the functions of the HFPA is that they're a nonprofit with aspirations to donate charitably to entertainment-based ventures. Founded in 1943, the HFPA is mainly for foreign journalists reporting on the industry for their home markets. This thing is exclusive. So exclusive, they only add five new members a year. That's why there's only 87 of them. And apparently, none of them are black. Yep, in a time when there are two black-led sitcoms at CBS, there are zero black members of the Hollywood Foreign Press Association. To their credit, they did address the issue at the Globe ceremony with exactly one minute's worth of non-apologies. From the HFPA, President Ali Saar, Chairman of the Board, Meher Tatna, and Vice President Helen Huna. On behalf of the Hollywood Foreign Press Association, thank you for joining us. Tonight, while we celebrate the work of artists from around the globe, we recognize we have our own work to do. Just like in film and television, black representation is vital. We must have black journalists in our organization. We must also ensure everyone from all underrepresented communities gets a seat at our table. And we are going to make that happen. That means creating an environment where diverse membership is the norm not the exception. Thank you, and we look forward to a more inclusive future. Take their words as you will. It is important they at least are showing an effort. Still, they could have placed that better in the program instead of immediately after the sizzle reel for the trial of the Chicago 7, which is very true. Let it be known, though, they are, there are indeed representatives uh, for the other races. However, they may not be there on the behalf of their country of origin. After all, this is the same organization that has its three white members representing foreign countries, two of which a white person can definitely not be from. 
Now, the HFPA says it knows it doesn't have any black members and they will cur and uh, currently are doing something about it. The question isn't when, it's what the butts is taking you so long? I'm sure you can find the black journalists on any continent with enough clout to be in your club. After all, they have this guy, Alexander Novisky, Russian bodybuilder, small time movie producer, and all around hunk in your ranks. And I'm not just calling him a hunk because he has pictures of guns on his Twitter or because he's Russian and probably wants to kill me. I'm saying it because of both those things. So there. The HFPA has already been in trouble before with its lack of diverse nominations in Globe's past. Nothing new. What's different this year is the emphasis of true, from the bottom of the heart diversity. Protests and unrest throughout the world signaled a massive change, not just in society, but also in the entertainment we enjoy. To that end, Giant black-led movies like The Five Bloods, Judas and the Black Messiah, and Ma Rainey's Black Bottom just so happened to all come out in a year when they were needed most. It was only a few years ago the Academy, laborious name mentioned above, would be the target of well-deserved anger because of a lack of diversity within its own ranks. It responded with a record year of inductees. Paramount Mountains were moved just to right wrongs, and they keep improving on themselves, incrementally, but they're doing it, even to the movies they're accepting. The Globes has been called out before. Why are they now saying they'll do better? It could be the bad year and race we've had, or it might even be the amplification of the matter brought on by social media. My theory is no one ever called out the HFPA themselves. They're not as big as the academies are, and much like the academies, since they don't release the members' names, no one knows who they are. Except this hunk, Alexander Novisky, who, again, is a Russian bodybuilder with guns and all of my utmost respect. The profile from the Los Angeles Times that introduced this information about the lack of black journalists in the HFPA gave us great insight into the once mostly private organization. What's more, we even learn that the nonprofit pays journalists to watch movies. The New York Times and NPR struggle to keep their newsrooms packed with quality writers, and this multi million dollar, again, nonprofit gives already wealthy, prominent people money to sit around for two hours. I mean, who do they think they are? The voting population of the United States? And let me tell you something else. Y'all ever fly on an airplane? What's up with them little bags of snacks? I'm flying. I'm hungry. Ain't no two ounce bag of chips gonna keep me fed. But, uh, I'm sorry. My Def Jam Mac keeps coming back up in these scripts. This lack of full, transparent diversity has led to Time's Up, the same organization that took down all those white guys touching dames in Hollywood to call upon the HFPA to fix the problem. They're joined by pretty much all the unions, and Ellen Pompeo wrote an open letter suggesting they take action soon. This is the same woman who constantly says she's unsure if Grey's Anatomy is going to live on past this season. Are you looking now and I'm not trying to make you give anything away. But are <laughs> yes, you, you are. I'm not, of course I swear you are. I'm not. Everybody does. I okay, can't maybe say. A little. Can't no. say. We honestly have not decided. We're really trying to figure it out right now. What are you waiting for, Pompeo, you coward? This year happened to be a very good year for movies. And to that end, many of this year's selections were diverse winners. If the past days of, uh, is indicative of where awards will go next, it's that there will be more inclusion. But in order for that to be the future, the HFPA needs to stop acting like it's the H-F-P-A-S-T. I'm so sorry for that. Listen, why don't you subscribe and check out one of these other videos or head to the website cpluscomedy.com where there are so many interviews with your favorite comedians that maybe one day I can be paid to actually buy a good camera that doesn't shut off on me in the middle of making news time three separate times. You can also follow us on Instagram and uh, Twitter at C Plus Comedy. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Chad Black White. Like us on Facebook. Listen to the Constitutionals podcast wherever you get podcasts. And is that you, Pompeo? I'm a coming. I'm a coming. <laughs>